Swift's observable macro combined with at state makes it straightforward to create and use data in our apps. And previously we looked at how to pass files between different views. However, sometimes you need the same object to be shared across many places in your app. And for that, we gotta to turn to SwiftUI's environment. To see how this works, let's start with some code you should already know. We'll make a small player class that can be observed by SwiftUI. I'll say at observable class player has a name string of anonymous and a high score int of zero. And we can now show their high score in a little small view just for this purpose. We'll say struct high score view is a view and we'll tell this thing you've got to be passed in a player instance to work with. So we'll say if our player is a player. Then down here in our body, we'll do text saying, your high score is string interpolation player dot high score. So this expects to be given a player value to work with. So we might write code down in our content view like this. First make some local state to store the player we're working with. And then in the views body, I'm gonna have a, a V stack saying text welcome and then our high score view, passing in the player state property we made earlier. Now this is all old code. We're making a value, pass into the view, that thing here is now being used uh, as the main view up here with this high score in place. That was working correctly, it's just a passing value to sub view, that's old, okay? Usually though, we have more complex needs. What if this object, this player object here, has to be shared in many places? Or what if view A has to pass it to view B, which has to pass it to view C, has to pass it to view D? You can see how that'd be pretty tedious to code. SwiftUI has got a better solution for these problems. We can place our object into the environment, then use the at environment property wrapper to read it back out. This takes two small changes to our code. First, we no longer want to pass a value into our high score view and instead make this thing uh, be sent in through the environment. So down here, I'm gonna say, let's not pass a player in here and instead use the environment modifier to inject our player into the SwiftUI environment. This modifier is designed to work with class that use the observable macro. Now behind the scenes, one of the things macro does is add a conformance to a protocol called observable without the at sign. And that's what this modifier is looking for, some kind of observable conforming type. Now, once an object's placed into the environment like it has been here, any sub view can read it back out. In the case of our high score view, that's up here, this player, we would write uh, at environment player.self var player read this value from the environment. Now, just like with other kinds of observed state, this high score view will automatically be reloaded when its properties change. Be careful though, your app will crash if you say an environment object will be there and it actually isn't when your code runs. Now, although this mostly works well, there is one place as a problem and you will almost certainly hit it. When you're trying to use an environment value as a binding. Now, if you're watching this after iOS 18 was released, presumably in June this year, I sincerely hope Apple resolved this issue. I've certainly complained loudly enough to them, uh, nicely of course, um, but right now on an iOS 17.4, it's still an issue. You can see a problem if we said, let's make a, a, a stepper for our high score view. We'd say here, let's do a stepper of our high score is player dot high score and its values bound to dollar player dot high score. That attempts to bind the stepper to the player's high score and you can see it's not working. If we'd used at state locally to make a, a local player value, that code would have worked. But here it's saying, no, there is no dollar player. This binding approach does not work with environment, at least right now. Apple's solution for this, at least until hopefully it improves in iOS 18, we'll see, is to use at bindable directly in the body 
property to say this. At bindable, var player is a player. And now the code can pass cleanly. And that effectively means make a copy of my player property locally, then wrap it in some bindings I can use. Honestly, it's a bit ugly. <laughs> and so, again, I hope by the time you actually get to uh, follow along with this, it's no longer needed.